Yeah, what's up, my brothers, man? Welcome back, man. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, man. I need y'all brothers, man. To wake up, man. For real. Because these women, man, out here, man, these black women, man, it's, this shit is crazy, man. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot of our brothers, and, and I'm, I'm gonna give it to y'all raw, man. This is raw. Like, you understand? I can't sugarcoat, and I'm not gonna sugarcoat. Like, what's real, man? What's real is what's real, man. The thing I wanna talk about today is, um, basically, far as, like the when it comes to the female, um, the female unity. That's what I'm gonna talk about: female unity, or the sucky by unity, or the dot unity. That's what I want to talk about. You understand? Like it's it's it's, it's hurtful, man. When your own relatives, meaning your mother, <clears throat> your sister. Your aunt, this is in the black community. You understand? Your aunt, your sister, you understand? Your moms, maybe your female next door neighbor. You understand? They never, they never put you up on game on basically how females are. Meaning, sexually, they don't tell you to watch out. They don't get into details. They might tell you. Oh, don't be around these girls. But they won't get into details. You understand? If I tell you, yo, I don't want you walking up this block, I'm, I'm going to get into detail so you can get a fully understanding. Because when you're young, we don't understand. When we 15, 16, we don't get a, f a full understanding of nothing. We still naive. We don't know nothing. You understand? So your parents warn you, but they, but they don't warn you. Or they, they give you like a, a light warning. Yo, stay away from them girls. You're going to get hurt. Yeah, stay away from them girls. You're going to get hurt. I'm telling you. They don't go into details about how women, you know, they, they sexual desires is more than men. Or you understand how women ovulate and they five different people in one. You understand? You might get her. She might be the, the best candidate in September and then November. She changed on you. She become a demon. You know what I'm saying? So they don't tell us about these things where women is emotional and why they emotional. You understand? They don't get into that. You got to do your own homework. You understand? They don't They don't tell you none of that. And when you, you go inside diving deep with no helmet, you understand? And, and you get hurt. You understand? I got hurt in high school, man. And my sister didn't warn me. My aunts didn't warn me, my female cousin, nobody warned me, man, about how these women really are, man. And I pulled my heart out to a girl, man. And that hurt, man. A lot a lot of brothers, a lot of brothers don't bounce back from that, man. A lot of people's incarcerated. A lot of people's is killed themselves over women, man. Because the women, females feel like the female unity is more important than telling her son, than telling her little brother, like how female really are, how these thoughts really are, how these whores really are. You know what I'm saying? That's natural. It's, it's embedded in them. So it kind of hurt. It kind of hurt when your own, your own flesh and blood, they don't sit down and talk to you about these women, man. It hurts. You understand? They don't even tell their own sons. 90% of the time, these black brothers, they, they, they don't make it or they're unsuccessful due to women. And that's the straight up truth. Even me, like I could sit back. I used to play basketball. I was good in ball. That's every that's every black man's dream: ball, rap. You understand? But I really was good in basketball. I used to fucking practice. I used to look at the Sports Illustrated. I remember the Sports Illustrated. I used to look at all Michael Jordan videos, Allen Iverson, Steve Francis. I was looking at it. I wanted to really play ball. I was great in basketball. I was a good, good basketball player. I was nice, had handle, I had heart, 
I was a great player. You understand? My grandmother had to work. Single parent. My grandmother had to work. She couldn't come to none of the games. My uncles and them ain't come to none of the games. My mother, she left me. Father split. You understand? Grandmother did the best she could, but I, nobody really, you understand? Never had no real support. And I say that to say this. In order, in order to get into a Catholic school in New York, I don't know. You understand? If a lot of y'all familiar with it. You understand? Whoever's listening to this, maybe y'all live in a different state. But in New York, in order to get into a Catholic school, you got to take a... If you're in public school, in order to get into a Catholic school, you got to take a corpse test. You know what I'm saying? And the corpse test, the corpse test determine whether or not you're eligible to go to these schools. And basically, I took the corpse test and I passed. I was able to go to Rice. These four of the people familiar that live in New York City. Rice is the Catholic school. It was in Harlem. Mount St. Michael's. Um, Cardinal Hayes. I was able to go there. You understand? Because I, I was good in basketball and I took the test and I passed. Then, all of my friends in my neighborhood, they was in public school. They wasn't thinking about none of this. So I've always been different young. All of my friends I knew, they went to public school. So it was the school on Fordham Road. I'm pretty sure who, whoever's in, um, whoever lived in New York City and the South Bronx or whoever familiar with the Bronx period, I know y'all familiar with Roosevelt's on East Fordham Road. You understand? And all of my mans, that all of the all of my dudes that I grew up with, you know what I'm saying, from we young, they went to Roosevelt. You understand? They in Roosevelt. And the mass majority of us and the reason why I went to Roosevelt and I cut going to the court school is because my man used to always talk about, yo, it's, it's females and there's bitches in there, yo. Roosevelt's a fashion show. There was more girls than guys in there. You see? And this is young. I'm young. I'm 15, naive. I'm looking at movies. Paid in full. You see the niggas driving around with the beamers. They got the they got the the, the women. They looking good. I wanna I wanna be that. I wanna follow that. I never had no man didn't tell me that's not cool. I didn't have nobody telling me that's not cool. Nobody. So what did what did I do? I wanna be with my friends and I wanna be with the women. I wanna be with the thoughts. I wanna be with the succubus. And all through high school, chasing ass. I always been a smart dude. No matter what I did, cut. No matter what I did and how I did, I was always a smart guy. Did what I had to do, focus, because my grandmother wasn't having that. You understand? But I'm just, just, just letting y'all know that women. It's just that we fuck up our lives young, chasing women, chasing ass. You understand? Chasing the suck you by young. It's in better as young. We watch movies. We see the dudes on our block. These niggas pulling up in cars with rims, gold chains, and they got women. These dudes pulling up with trucks. I remember back then the Navigator. That was like a popular truck. Guys pull up with Navigators, big 24s on it. I want to be like that. We got two, three girls in a truck going to the telly to get his rocks off. I wanted that. I didn't have no dad. I didn't have no female, especially female, tell me about that. Get into details. Don't do this because these days, these women will mess up your life. Never had that, man. So these are for my young brothers, man. Who basically, you don't have a, a dad or you don't have these women. You don't got no women telling you about these girls. Well, I'm telling you because I didn't know. And I want you to learn from my mistakes. I fucked up. I made a mistake. I messed up. So I want you to listen to this and learn. Do you, brother, young brothers. Do you, young kings. Do you. Forget these thoughts, man. Forget these suck you bars because they're going to suck you in a black hole, man. And if you ain't got nothing, nothing plus a nothing equal nothing because she ain't going to have shit. But her vag, that's what she got is her vag to offer. That's what all girls got. So my young brothers, don't make a mistake, man. I'm telling y'all, my young black brothers, don't make a mistake, man. That you're going to regret, man. 
Cause I live with regrets every day, man. You understand? I wasn't I wasn't warned, man. I was running around with, with like a chicken with my head cut off, thinking that running having five or six women is the way to be. That's what I thought. That's what I would grew up on. And these old these old fake ass players never shit sat down and taught me and showed me besides telling me because a lot of a lot of a lot of these dudes they tell you but they don't show you. They tell you, oh, don't do this, don't do that. And then they doing the shit. How the, how the hell you want me to do the right thing and you doing, that's contradiction. So when you, when somebody telling you something, learn from their mistakes, man. And try to, just because somebody older than you, that don't mean shit. These, these old dudes is washed up, man. They was talking about what they used to have. Yo, yeah, I had this girl. Yeah, shut up, man. You ain't have nothing, man. Shut up, man. So my young brothers, man, 